With the stay-at-home order in place in Minnesota, people across the state are looking for creative ways to stay busy. John Lauritsen met with some people whose skillful pastimes have turned into viral videos. Right now, trick shots are a way for a lot of people to pass the time to keep from going stir-crazy. A lot of them involve ping-pong balls, basketballs, and even golf balls. So we thought we'd try one of our own. While we let that play out, we caught up with Nathan Ziegler, a principal at Hope Academy in Minneapolis. Not doing anything else. You got to stay home, so might as well do some of this. He started a YouTube series called Social Distancing from Mr. Z. There are science experiments and bad dad jokes, but also trick shots. My son said, hey, dad, if you want me to do some trick shots for your show, you're going to need to buy me some wood. They then built an obstacle course for a basketball. Its journey started on the rooftop and ended with nothing but now. Yes! The golf shot took a little longer to make. Any yeah. idea how many takes it took? Uh, he told me it was it was well into the hundreds. I've just been seeing videos online of other people doing them, so I'm like, uh, might as well pass the time by trying my own. Carter Bloomquist is a senior at Lakeville South, but instead of missing out, he's fitting in online with his videos. Golf season is still on in his basement. A few of them were actually first or second tries, but um, the other ones took a while. As far as our trick shot goes, it went off the backboard, off the water tower, caromed off the wind turbine, off photographer Joe Berglove's head, down a slide, and into an empty disinfectant wipe container. Nothing to it, really. Keep the trick shots coming, Minnesota. In Maple Grove, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Not too bad. Up next on Valley News Live at 6, a timely message from park leaders about folks gathering and risking their health.